Hey guys, my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Google Ads and focusing on Google Display Network. I'll be showing you how to set up a new campaign for Google Display Ads, ad group settings, and how to create a new ad that will involve images, targeting, and basically going through all the settings involved in running a Google Display campaign. So let's get started. Now, once you log in with your Google account, you should see this overview dashboard. Click on the campaigns tab on the left navigation and then hit the plus icon. Select new campaign and then as you can see you will get six different options. Now in my previous video I have covered how to set up a Google search ad and you need to check out if you want to learn about how to set up a Google search ad and all the settings involved. But for this video, let's get into Google Display Network. So select the second option. And then the next step is to choose your goal or the main objective of the campaign. Uh, if you want to drive traffic to an e-commerce store, then you can select the sales objective. If you want to generate leads and acquire new you know, potential prospects, then select the leads objective. If you want to generate traffic to your blog or website or an article or a landing page, then choose the website traffic as an objective. If you want to promote your brand, then choose the product and brand consideration. And there is also a brand awareness and reach objective. There is a slight overlap between product and brand consideration. Uh, so usually you can divide your objective into three categories awareness consideration and decision website traffic brand awareness and reach these two objectives are basically at the top of the funnel so uh, you are basically promoting your brand and generating brand awareness the people who are in the middle stage of the funnel are more likely to research and consider your product in that case you can choose the leads and product and brand consideration objective and people who are most likely to purchase your product or ready to convert you can choose sales as your objective now for this example I'm gonna be choosing website traffic once you select your objective you have two different options standard display campaign and Gmail campaign um, now we want to show our ads on Google's search net Google's display network uh, which can be you know Huffington Post BuzzFeed Mashable CNN Nike.com and all the different websites where your audience is hanging out so we will choose standard display campaign but if you want to show your ads only to people who are browsing their emails then you will choose the Gmail campaign. Um, but for this option, for this uh, video, I'm going to be choosing standard display campaign. And then finally, you will add your website URL and then hit continue. All right. Uh, you can name your campaign as website traffic display campaign. Um, choose the location if the ad is going to be displayed you know all over the world then you will choose all countries or you can choose a specific location by using this option and you can say I want to display the ad only in Canada so you can choose specific countries um, I'm gonna choose United States you can even exclude people so you can click on you know more options and you can exclude people from certain countries choose the language as English or you can type any other language that you want then in terms of bidding uh, we want the bidding to be based on clicks since the objective is traffic I'm gonna choose clicks and 
I'm gonna set manually set bids and then I'm gonna pay for clicks alright once you have selected your bidding strategy um, you need to move on to budget add your daily budget over here and then choose your delivery method the difference between standard and accelerated is how fast you want your budget to be spent if it's a time sensitive campaign then your budget will be spent pretty quickly but if you want your budget to be spent evenly over the duration of your entire campaign then you will select your budget delivery method as standard moving on we will name our ad group as um, display only keywords keyword targeting so you can name whatever you want but um, I like to be specific um, and that's why you know um, I'm, I'm naming it as keyword targeting display only um, and generally you know I even try to add more details about you know the category so what I mean is uh, you need to structure your ads based on um, the category or the product category that you are trying to promote so let's take an example let's say your blog has four different categories then you you can create a new ad group for each of those categories um, and then under each ad group you can create multiple different ads so that way your campaign is well organized and it should follow your website sitemap or hierarchy and and you will be able to promote your business more efficiently um, another example is if you are promoting an e-commerce store then you can create a separate ad group for each of those categories all right next you want to move on to audiences so in this section you have three different three different options you can target your ads based on what people are interested in and their habits so say for example if you choose this option you will be able to select you know what people are generally interested in so if you are promoting a food and dining business then you know you can choose like multiple different habits and interest um, and that way you know Google will display your ads on all the different websites that are focusing on you know fast food and coffee shops the second option is uh, what they are actively researching or planning uh, and these are you know custom intent audiences uh, and this is automatically created by Google based on their website activity the third is how they interact with your business and this is the most powerful type of audience targeting and if and basically this is you know remarketing and and you can remarket to all the people who have visited your website um, you can even remarket to a custom list based on uh, a customer list that you already have I generally like to use this option the third option um, because it gives more return on investment and obviously people tend to convert more if they have already been to your website but in in this example I'm not going to choose any of them because I will be targeting people based on keywords moving on we have demographics now you can choose gender age household income I'm just gonna select all you know for this example and then hit done and then your ad group bid now this is where you will set your maximum cost per click um, to start out with you can say you know 25 cents as the maximum cost per click and as soon as you you know add the uh, ad group bid uh, on the right side you know Google will show you like based on your selected bid how many clicks and impressions you are you're about to get alright once you are done with all the settings uh, you need to click on um, the ad and this is where you know you will create your uh, ads so I'm gonna select create ads later for now because I want to show you all the different options 
hit create campaign and then hit continue to campaign now what we have done so far is we have just set up the skeleton of the campaign now comes the major part of you know adding keywords and adding um, ads and extensions and everything so let's move on to um, you know keywords because you need to really really focus on this aspect of Google display campaign uh, because all your ads are going to be be based on keyword targeting so click on this plus icon and then add display keywords choose the ad group and this is where you will be pasting your keywords so one of the best tools for keyword research is uber suggest This is a great tool to find keyword ideas and I have already covered about this tool in my earlier video about Google search ads. So all you have to do is enter the keyword, so say for example digital marketing and once you hit search, um, this tool will give you like search volume, SEO difficulty and, and you know cost per click and it will also give you like keyword ideas. So depending upon what you're trying to promote, you can search uh, on this tool and then it will give you keyword ideas. And you can basically export all the keywords that you want to target, come back to Google Ads and then paste those keywords. So let's say your blog is about digital marketing, then you can add all the keywords over here. So I'm just going to pick some of the examples over here. Once you are done adding all the keywords, you can hit save and now you have finished completing your, you know, ad targeting. Next step is to move on ads because you haven't created any ad yet. So you need to click on plus and then click on responsive display ad. All right, choose the ad group and add the website URL. Now the best part is, let's say you don't have, you know, images that are already ready for, for you to, you know, upload over here. You can click on images and logos and then what Google will do is it will try to scan your website and once it's done scanning, you can actually start using some of the images. All right. As you can see, Google has already scanned and picked up some of the images and it will try to give you a nice, you know, preview of how your ad might look like. All right, select the headline option and then this is where you will add your um, main title of the ad. So you can say how to capture leads, learn more. Okay, how to capture new leads. Headline two can be improve your convert conversion rate something like that basically you are adding a bunch of different headlines that is going to show the key value proposition about why they need to click on your ad you can add long headlines over here download the pdf 
and watch a webinar about digital strategies for your business something like that you can add like up to five headlines and five long headlines and then you can add your business name And then hit before you hit save you can actually see um, the preview of how your ad is going to look like and as you can see Google has you know evolved a lot and and it will it's showing you a preview of how the ad is going to look on mobile on desktop and it's that simple you know basically if you don't have any images you, you can just click on this edit edit icon and depending on the URL you know Google will scan the website and if you do have you know nice images you can click on the upload button and choose your files so that you can use custom images for your ads and I generally prefer you know the upload option because you get to use custom images that is highly responsive you know highly visual and be, it will generally help you to improve your conversion rate so once you are done previewing your ad on mobile and desktop uh, you can you can see how the ad is going to look on display network on YouTube and on Gmail so hit save I'm just gonna copy this and then hit save so that's it guys this is how you can create a Google ad campaign for display network. You can review your campaign um, by going to the campaigns tab, selecting your campaigns, hit the settings button and then you can basically you know review all the settings. Um, if you want to review your ad group then click on ad group and then check all the settings for the ad group click on the ad group and then hit settings and then you can click on the ads and extensions you can click on the edit icon to make some changes if everything looks good then you can move on to keywords you obviously you need to add you know at least 20 to 30 keywords and use keyword modifiers like exact match or broad match so that you don't waste your ad spend on broad keywords so basically this is the tab that you will be using to add new keywords and refining your keyword strategy and and once you are running your campaign uh, you need to you know check the search terms report and add negative keywords negative keywords are basically you know um, keywords that you don't want your ads to be triggered so for example um, your your ad is about promoting you know automobiles and if someone is searching like automobile spare parts then you know you can add spare parts as a negative keyword and your ad won't be triggered so something like that so always use negative keywords so that uh, you can you can avoid you know spending your money on all those waste searches and um, not targeting people who are uh, not matching your business profile so that's it for for the video guys and um, if you do like this video please please do subscribe to my channel any likes and comments are much appreciated Thank you so much.